hey YouTube, what's going on? So, um, basically, this is a tutorial, uh, first one in a while, I really do apologize about that. I'm actually, um, going to be doing some more, uh, a little bit different kinds of videos. I'm going to be doing some tech videos, such as unboxings and reviews, be expecting that soon. The computer I'm actually recording this video on is my new 20-inch iMac. It's about, uh, it, it's actually used, I got off eBay for $630.00. Um, the specs are 2.66 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, 320 gig hard drive, and, uh, it's about two years old. It's, like, mid-2009 Intel iMac, and it's super nice. It's super fast, um, even though I think I'm going to upgrade the, the RAM definitely to 8 gigs whenever I get the chance. Right now, it's on a rush because, it's like I said, it's working perfectly well. It doesn't need any RAM upgrade, but, I mean, soon, I think, once... Now I start having more files on the computer, it's going to need more. But uh, the hard drive, I definitely will upgrade it. It's on a rush right now, but I'll, I'll upgrade it to like a, maybe 2 terabytes soon. That's like the most I can have, at least 1 terabyte, but not right now. It's not a big deal right now, but uh, soon I will. If I'll probably make a video on that and like update you guys and let you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, enough of that. Just be expecting the unboxing of this iMac from eBay um, in the next couple days after I, I have to edit and all that. And be expecting, uh, I actually bought some stuff, you know, off the internet, ordered some camera stuff, so be expecting some unboxing soon, and as well as reviews. So yeah, be expecting a lot of tech videos, and like I said, this doesn't mean I'm just not making tutorials, but like, you guys need to like, you know, let me know what you want, because I haven't gotten like any requests at all, so yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get started. This is, as you can see from the title, this is a tutorial on how to get spaces in your dock. Uh, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I do have spaces on the computer. I use In my previous videos, uh, I use my MacBook Pro, so you can tell I do have spaces in my dock, but this computer is brand new, so I'm, I'm going to add them in because I'm so used to them and I hate not having spaces. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it so you guys can do it too. Some people don't like spaces, but personally I love them. It just keeps, you know, things organized by group. So like, for example, I would put like, Safari and Chrome in a group because it's like internet browsers. Uh, I would put iChat next to this. This is how I've done on my MacBook Pro, so I'm going to do it the same way. Next to Mail because it's like, you know, kind of goes together. Communication-ish. And then I would put, uh, you know, iMovie with screen flow like that. I would put this over here. Um, photo, iPhoto and photo booth together. And I would actually probably put iTunes, it's like GarageBand, but it's on my dock, so yeah. But yeah, you can figure that all out for yourself, how you want them to be grouped, but I'm just going to show you how to get spaces. So basically what you have to do is you have to go to this site right here. The link will be in the description. It's this freemacware.com slash hidden settings hyphen 07. Okay, so just click download. This exact link will be in the description. Don't even worry about, you know, how to type that in. Just go in the description and click it. So, uh, gotta wait, I'm just gonna continue to download. And then, so now that's in my downloads. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, uh, hidden settings. And there we go, opening that up. Here it is. So, what you do is you open that up, and it, uh, it's, and then basically what it does is it installs it right into your system preferences. So, Install. However you want to do that. Okay, got to put it open again. There we go. Loading hidden settings. So now you have this. See how it, it's right here and other. You have hidden settings right there. So then you have that. And what you do is you this actually this uh, you know application works for a variety of different things. You can do it. You, you can uh, do more stuff. With it. I might do more tutorials on showing you different stuff. But for now, we're just gonna focus on the dog. And uh, here we go. Add invisible spacers. So we're going to see, I'm going to, I want more spacers. I'm going to need like, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six spacers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They only need to do five for now, so I'll just do it. Apply changes and restart dock. And then boom, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of, uh, spaces to the right of this so what I'm going to do is I just have to grab one of these I'm just going to move it right there find the space right there 
I'm gonna grab another one and I'm just gonna move it between this. And then I'm gonna grab another one and I'm gonna move it right between there. And then let's see here. I wanna move this actually right there. And then I have an extra space. I wanna move I want iTunes to be iTunes to be here. And grab the remaining space that I need right there. So actually, yeah, it was good. I, I only didn't need five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So, so there you go. That's how I'm going to be organizing my doc. Um, and I'm going to put some more stuff in the doc. I'm going to have to download Photoshop and all that. Because like I said, it's a brand new computer. So so if that applications. Right now, the applications uh, is pretty slim. I just all I did was I got a computer. I downloaded Chrome immediately. And then I did download Transmission because I'm actually downloading Lion. So expect a video on maybe the whole installation process of Lion. If you guys are interested in that, comment below and let me know. And um, what else did I download? I downloaded Streamville to record this tutorial. And I downloaded um, one more thing. Downloaded Transmission, obviously. Um, in settings, or yeah. I think that's actually it. Oh, and App Zapper, because I wanted to delete some apps. I mean, the SM applications that the previous owner had on his computer. So yeah, it's a pretty small little application folder for now. But yeah, I'll be updating it. So yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, and yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.